Some engineers move mountains, others build bridges and buildings. Still, others devise machines and devices to do any sort of task. But nanoengineers and chemical engineers go beyond the world we can grasp to manipulate the structure of substances, putting atoms and molecules where they want to make them do what we want them to do. As a nanoengineer or chemical engineer, you will go far beyond making plastics or semiconductors. You might be catalyzing fuel directly from the air around us, or developing more efficient solar power or better batteries to store that power, or finding substances to remediate toxic pollution, or build new drugs atom by atom, or perhaps making a biodegradable plastics or carbon neutral fuels from algae. As a student in the Department of Nanoengineering, you will be empowered with the tools and knowledge to build this future by choosing from one or two majors, nanoengineering or chemical engineering. Nanoengineering provides training at the cutting edge to create new inventions that disrupt and change the way we approach technology. As a nanoengineer, you will learn how to control materials and processes on the scale of 1 to 100 nanometers, bigger than a molecule but smaller than a human cell. You will engage in a unique core curriculum developed at UC San Diego and tailored just for you. In your first year, you will start working with your peers in team-based hands-on courses to learn the chemical, biochemical, and physical principles of nanoengineering. As your core studies provide you the principles and the tools you will use, you will move on to learn the use of electronics, modeling, characterization, synthesis, and fabrication in nanoengineering to complete your studies with the Capstone Design Project. This gives you multidisciplinary training and prepares you to pursue a career in a broad spectrum of new and emerging industries that involve nanotechnology. But not only does the Jacobs School of Engineering ensure that you will have all the tools and the flexibility to choose the future you want to do in chemical and nanoengineering, it has built a one-of-a-kind community of organizations of your peers, faculty, and staff who support every step of your undergraduate career, from before your first class to beyond your graduation, so you can thrive and meet the challenges of creating your future as a chemical or nanoengineer. So the first thing I discovered about nanoengineering was that it's still a growing field. At first I thought it was kind of already well established from what I was learning in high school, but it's definitely still something that's growing and that's kind of the most exciting part of it. Coming to UCSD and learning about chemical engineering Yes, there's a lot of chemistry as opposed to like other engineering majors, but not as much as people think it has. Um, there's a lot more like physics, fluid mechanics, other things to learn. The people here are amazing. Um, you get to meet different people who are very interested in certain things. Like even to this day, I think there are times when my classmate talks about something and I'm like, how in God's name do you know that? That is so brilliant. I think coming into UCSD, like most students, we don't really know what we technically want to do. We have interest in a lot of things, whether that be um, science, engineering, technology. Uh, to just dive into something, dive into something that interests you, and then that experience in itself will let you know what else you might be interested in. I really think nanoengineering is such an interesting major because it is, does have some sci-fi aspects to it. A lot of people think of nanobots and all these things, maybe Iron Man and the nanotechnology suit. Um, there are things that are very similar that are in the field that are doing that. I was working in or in a nanoengineering lab um, that specialized on drug delivery. So making particles in order to deliver a specific load um, to a targeted place. But the International Society of Pharmaceutical Engineers and also the Nano Engineering and Technology Society, which is NETS, I feel like those two orgs have been um, very impactful in me and my professional development, but also my ability to just socialize with classmates. When you come here, when you get here, if you try out things and you find that it kind of clicks, it kind of works for you, that's fine. Reach out to people. If you find yourself drowning in material, which happens quite a lot when the quarter system, it runs fast. Reach out to people and they'll be able to like, get you situated. It is a difficult major. It is a difficult field to jump into, but if you have um, the ability you believe in yourself that, hey, this is something that I want to do. I think as long as you put in the work, then you can achieve it.